Good morning, Wednesday morning, heading now to Serona for a marathon meeting, starting with Scott Jonas, who I worked with at Powtoon, incredible enterprise sales guy. Then having lunch with Ruth Shapiro, who's someone that I think I connected with on Twitter like a decade ago. We don't hang out nearly enough. After that, I'm meeting with a startup and several other meetings tonight. I'm doing a podcast interview. It's going to be a jam, jam-packed day. Let's do this. Tel Aviv, modern day miracle. Serona's like right here, and Memphis where I'm eating lunch is right there. And I got a parking spot right there. Good times. It's 10.20, my first meeting's at 11, so that's good, nice and chill. As I always say, the best way not to come late, come early. Beautiful day, perfect, absolutely perfect day here in Tel Aviv. Except for the yelling, I'm not sure what all the yelling's about over here. But look how beautiful, look how beautiful the skies are. Making a little stop before my 11 o'clock. Who are you? I'm Yoda Tamandelbaum from TLV Farmers. This has got to be the third or fourth time we're doing this. It's every time that you come to Serona, it's got to be like once out of every 10. That's I not see true, every day. Every day yeah. Right, right. <laughs> what do you do? What does it talk to me? Hit me. What do I do? I work for TLV Partners, real estate VC here in Israel. We're long overdue for a meeting then. Long overdue for a meeting, exactly. And who are you? Tell me about your family a little bit. Uh, born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, one of the best cities in America, underrated. Uh, moved to Israel 10 years ago. My father in high tech, starting his own private equity fund now. Everybody keep an eye out for that. Father's a freaking legend, by the way. Uh, uncle legend. runs some good conferences here as well. You got it all going on. Hijos. Good stuff. Hijos. All right, go do your thing. We'll talk, man. Have a good one. Good to see you. Regards to everyone. One of the amazing things about the internet, in my opinion, specifically social media, is that you have this unique experience, unique ability to meet someone, sometimes for the first time, sometimes for the second time, even though they're a good friend. Like how, that in the, in the olden days, you couldn't call someone a good friend you've only met once. But this guy right here, Matthew, Hello. and I, we've been connected for years online. Yeah. The second time we're meeting. Yeah, the first time it was at the Geek Time conference in Tel Aviv. And that was like for a second. Yeah, you asked me for some batteries. That's right, I remember that. My batteries, my, that was my old vlogging camera, my batteries had run out. That's funny, I didn't <laughs> remember that. But this is the first time we're actually sitting. We've been connected online, so sure. What, what's your story? Give me your elevator pitch. Who is, who is Matthew Hughes? What do you do? Yeah, I, I'm a weird one. I'm a technology journalist who left the technology industry to write about tech. Um, I hate money. Uh, you know, it's got. That uh, makes you a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, let, let's get rid of like a career of stability yeah. and, and good pay. So I, um, I have a computer science uh, degree. I, I did uh, a couple of years of an ethical hacking degree. I worked in the industry. What is ethical hacking? Penetration testing. So finding vulnerabilities within a legal and ethical framework got that it. doesn't get you sent to jail for several years. Okay. So I, I kind of stumbled into tech, tech journalism about eight or nine years ago. Been doing it ever since. And met lovely people like you. Okay, where, where, where have you been working? Like, give me some of the places you've worked. So I was at the Next Web for three years. I have written for Gizmodo, Daily Beast, Daily Dot, The Register. So all the biggest company, all the biggest publications, period, like across. Yeah. That's unbelievable. What do you write about? Good question. So I like to cover stories about security and privacy just because my academic background means I'm able to talk about them in a more kind of concrete, you know, less theoretical way. I cover a lot of consumer stuff because it's fun. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a big geek. I love phones, I love computers, I love, I love all the latest toys, so. Cool, and this is your second time in Israel or we've been here more? It's my second time in Israel. What are you doing here? Are you allowed to talk about it or not? Yeah, um, so I was at Facebook System at Scale conference. So it was the brightest mind sharing everything they know about building, you know, infrastructure for, for websites and apps that, that works at scale, you know? And, and when you talk about scale, you're talking about billions of users. Right. Uh, scale of the likes of which the world has never known. Facebook is, right, scale yeah. bigger than anything ever, right? Yeah. 
Naturally. Crazy. I mean, the idea of that, you know, we, we're all talking via effectively a private company that services the entire planet is wild. Wild. Completely nuts. And that's, we didn't even talk about WhatsApp and Instagram. I mean, it's completely, no. Zuckerberg is actually, doesn't, I don't think people even appreciate how brilliant he is. I think he's brilliant. I would say his ethical compass could do a bit of a lining. Interesting. Why explain? I feel as though he's been thoroughly negligent when it comes to the role that Facebook plays with, within our democracy. In terms uh, of the political ads and things like that? Political ads, yeah. Uh, fake news. Fake news. And you, you, we've seen quite solid, concrete action from, from Jack Dorsey, who I think is a, another brilliant mind. Uh, I really want to meet Jack Dorsey, by I've the way. I met him. Re I know, I saw that picture. Yeah. I saw that. I really... <laughs> He's, uh, he's a bright guy. What's he like in real life? He's the most intense person I've ever met. Really? Uh, you know, he, he goes into a room and everything goes quiet. And he looks like a villain from a mid-2000s B-movie. He, 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 you that. Know, he's got this black turtleneck and this black beanie. And he makes eye contact with you. He doesn't, let, you know, he doesn't like drift away. I really want to meet him. And he doesn't go like, um, or ah. He doesn't have any sort of pauses. He's very... Interesting. The way that he constructs sentences is very deliberate. So he re Recently, what did he do? What was the big news last week that he did something on Twitter? They banned political ads altogether. Yeah, um, well, not all of them. There, are, there is still a little bit of wiggle room, but uh, for the most part. Okay. You came here for the Facebook conference. And, by the way, did you meet Adi, the Facebook CEO of Facebook Digital? I did not, know. I have coffee with her next week. She's she's general manager. You, no. she, wasn't, she must have been there. She's blonde. She no. doesn't look like the CEO of Facebook. No, she wasn't there. Really? That's interesting. Okay, so bottom line is today your focus is like what publications today? Daily Beast, Daily Dot, The Register, How To Geek. Love it. And if someone's watching this and they want to pitch you, what's the best way to do that? Twitter, I'm at Matty Hughes, or by email, it's me at mattyhughes.co.uk. M A T T H E W H U G H U E S. H E S, yeah. Look at that. Are you impressed? I'm impressed. I'm impressed too. I'm impressed because like no one can pronounce my last name in this country, so got Matthew Hughes. Which is like, you know, put on a bit of weight in the past few years, but it's funny. Anyway, so listen, dude, bottom line is like this. I'm I've been a fan for a very long time. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to pitch you on stories. We'll see, we'll see, uh kind of we'll tweak that based on your interests. But uh no, it's it's really awesome to see you, you know, kicking butt and kinda you, where are you going to go from here, man? You're at the top uh, top of your game right now. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, uh, let's hope it don't fuck up. <laughs> having a good time? That's the most important thing. I love Israel. Um, the beer is good. The food is amazing. It's awesome. How come you didn't bring your wife with you? Oh, she. Uh, we've got two puppies. Well, we've got a puppy and a, an older dog, and they are hard work. So you. she's she's looking after them, and I'm enjoying the beautiful Israeli sunshine. Love it, man. How long are you here for? I leave tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. You came when? Uh, Sunday. So you're here for like three days? Yeah, pretty much. That's a pretty intense trip. All right, bro. Let's Listen, let's go have a beer. Yeah. And if, obviously, you know, if I could help with anything, there's uh, stories. I don't think you have a shortage of stories, but if you ever want to, you know, talk about Israeli tech, you know where to find me. Absolutely. Let's Thanks. go have a beer, dude. Thanks, dude. And the most random introduction of the day goes to this guy because Mo Mernick, who I love, like, he, you know, usually when people are introducing me to like tech people and like marketing people, like not often do people introduce me to voice coaches. <laughs> I'm just saying. But there's actually, there is a relevant angle here, which we'll talk about. What's your name? Uh, my name is Adam Mishan. Adam Mishan, where are you from? What's your story? Uh, I'm from Toronto originally. Uh, just made Aliyah to Israel. Have you ever been a not nice person from Toronto? Um, I, I like have. Everyone <laughs> there is just so nice. I don't know. Someone, Majority of us. A friend are. of mine, when I got there, like he knows that I love Aston Martin. And he lent me his Aston Martin for a week. That's awesome. I'm like, what? who does that? Like, what is that? Only in Toronto. It's unbelievable. Okay, anyway. Uh, so you're from Toronto. You moved to Israel when? Uh, before Osh now. So, so like, this year? Yeah, this year. Love it. Okay, so is it fair to say you wear two hats? Um, I mean, they're they're yeah. interconnected, but they wear but, two yeah. hats. Yeah. Hat number one? Um, YouTuber. Okay, so you have a YouTube channel. Have a YouTube. On YouTube, it's at, by the way, do you also find that when people say, oh, you're a YouTuber, what's your channel? And you, there's no way to give it to someone. So right. look for my name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a handle. Search Adam Michelle. It's a little bit annoying. <laughs> so, no, it is, by the way, it actually is a fundamental part from a marketing perspective for YouTube. Like, if I can't give people the ability to follow me on YouTube easily, then. Right. I mean, you could give them a link, but it's. I'm saying it in person. Uh, right. Anyway, so it's a problem all the time. People say, how do I go? Just search for my name. Yeah, okay, we so should, we so should like Google now. Yeah. So you're, you're Adam Michelle on, on YouTube. Yeah. And give me some give me some numbers so people understand what we're talking about here. Like, what, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, I've got 180,000 subscribers. Um, oh. and <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. You've had some it's... bonkers viral videos. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, I had one that went 3.6 million views. That is That's... literally great. And, and it's happened pretty organically. 
Yeah, yeah, it wasn't much effort on my part. It was really YouTube that started pushing it more and more because a lot of people watched it and liked it. Incredible. Okay, so first of all, subscribe to this channel, number one. By the way, that is like, you know, people say to me all the time, and you're on my vlogs, people, you should always tell people to subscribe. I'm like, I'm not asking people to subscribe. I'll ask people to subscribe to this guy's channel. Okay, <laughs> so subscribe here too. Yeah, yeah. So that's, thank you, thank you. That's very, that, I appreciate that. So hat, hat number one is you're a YouTuber, that, and, and what is the content of, of your channel? What do you... Um, so I, I do a lot of critiquing of other singers. So I'll see other singers and I'll, I'll critique them on in my videos. I'll do like reaction type things. I do singing lessons. So people that want to learn how to sing better, they can go to my YouTube channel and, and kind of figure out exactly how to sing better. That's a good segue to your second hat. Mm. What's your second hat? So my second hat is I'm a vocal coach and I see people one-on-one -on -one online um, and I teach every single day uh, lessons online. So like what kind of singer are you? Like, is, is it more like opera singing? Is it more like, what kind of? Definitely more in the pop realm. Um, like, I, I originally was a rocker. I was in a rock band. That's why I started singing in the first place. Really? Yeah. A rock band? A rock band. With a key Funk right? rock band. Uh, no, this was before I became religious. Oh, you, you, weren't, you didn't grow up religious? I grew up religious, went rebellious, and then became religious. Got again. it. Okay. <laughs> what kind of rock? Um, like, Red Hot Chili Peppers, like, funk rock. Wow. So, yeah. like, do you, like, I mean, I, I don't know how you describe it. What kind of, like, how would you describe your voice? I'm going to watch it. On YouTube, like, how would, let's, how would you let's, describe let's do it? Let's do it. Uh, right it's, What's it's, a good video for me to watch for, for me to see what kind of uh, thing you have? Uh, you could that first one. Just in me, if you let me go, Ooh, don't nice. hold too tight. Just give me a chance to show. You'll see I'm right. I love look at the face tracking. Look at the, look at the camera. You see how it's picking up your face? I so cool. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, it's so cool. To share, hard to breathe. Please let me up for air. Nice voice, dude. Oh, thank you. I like it. What is this? Like, what is this band that I'm looking at? Um, so this was, it was a makeshift band that I started for. This is in Big Chemish, isn't it? No, this was in That's Toronto, not? actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I subscribed and I'm going to. Awesome. How thank often you. do you release uh, videos? I release videos four times a week. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So you also do uh, voice lessons. Yes. What does that mean? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I told you I once took voice lessons. What is that actually? What do you teach these people when it comes to so I, I generally try to listen for any problems that somebody has in their voice, anything that, um, you know, I'll have them do a very basic scale, just kind of hear where their main issues are. A lot of people <clears throat> in their voices, they find that right around their bridge area, so that point where you get like the, the point between your ah uh, voice and your ooh voice, a lot of people kind of have a break between those two. And so teaching them how to navigate that part um, and also finding places where things might be getting a little too airy or a little bit too tight, a little bit too squeezed, undoing any sort of extraneous um, tension that might be in the voice. So that's okay. generally what it's all, all right, about. So I told you, like people, most people don't know, that, some people know, it depends how big of a fan the person is. If they're a real fan of mine, they know that I love music. Mm. But most people think I'm a tech guy. Right. Reality is that like most of the things that I'm passionate about in life, I can like put a little check next to it, like I've done them. Music Your is one of the things, yeah. Music is pretty much the, one of the only things and a Maserati um, that like <laughs> you I got to drive on I know, I, know. I, mean, I will own that car by the way but that's a side point but no but music like for me like I love music and I have an okay voice but like, I've never really done anything with it but so, so this is very therapeutic for me to talk about this right. very good in let any it, case dude, listen, bottom line is like this like I said to you I walked into the restaurant said, any any introduction from Mo Murnick like I don't even care like who he introduced me to I'm meeting that person right. happens to be that there's a lot of synergy because number one I can learn a ton from you about YouTube and number two I learn a ton from you about singing but if you ever watched any of the things or have read any of the things that I've written, I don't really like being on the receiving end. Mm -hmm. So we gotta figure out how I can help you. Okay. You're helping me, but we, gotta, we have to figure out how I can help you. So now you have homework. Figure out, how, ooh, good lighting, good lighting. <laughs> uh, we're gonna figure out how, you can, how I can help you in some way, but in any case, dude, bottom line is, congratulations on making Aliyah to movie to movie Israel. That's Thank awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. Super happy we met, and uh, we're gonna figure out, you know, we'll, we'll optimize, because both of us are busy people. I have to figure out, I don't really have time in my schedule to do voice lessons. So I have to, we'll have to figure it out, move things around. We'll figure right. it out. We'll, It'll we'll, happen. We'll rejig things. Yeah, but uh, yeah, listen, man, stay in touch. You let me know if something pops in your head you think I can help with. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll meet again soon. Definitely. Sounds Excellent. good. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate All your time. Thank dude. you. Well, that was a pretty cool day. Tomorrow's going to be very, very busy. See you then.